On today's episode of Watch Jerry I bring you the coolest tools you can buy right now on the internet. Someone say tools. Tools, man. I bet you're all wondering why I've gathered you here today. Oh wait, that's that's not even right. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jerry and today we are here in my garage, here in my garage, at home, to show you guys cool new tools you can probably use while we sit in car seats that are very low to the ground and there's not much we can do about that. I can almost see over the table. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, we've got a box of cool stuff here, things that I have found on Instagram and the TikTok, and I thought, why not buy them? They actually look pretty handy. So, we are kicking today off with a new way to hold tools and uh, you, you know parts, everything, while you're working on your car. So this is the US General 58159. Uh, D9. That was the weakest. <laughs> I don't want to actually break This is a highly flexible parts tray that you can throw onto whatever you're working on and just fill it up with uh, you know junk fasteners, whatever you need. This is a small ultra grip flexible parts tray. And uh, I really like this thing because it has these little hex holders for all of your bits. So if you've got a bunch of bits on like your baby impact, your quarter inch hex, uh, this is perfect for you because it'll hold all of your tools, especially adapters like uh, hex to three eighths, hex to quarter, hex to half inch. Um, you know, I end up using those pretty much all the time. And this little organizer comes in very handy uh, when you're working on cars. And I've got another one of them already actually. Something close. This is different, but I've got another one that's very close to that and it works great. Same, same, but different? Yeah, same, same, but I, different. I like this. I wish it had magnets. Yeah, I know, it's not magnetic, but honestly, the thing is it'll kind of sit over like bumps on stuff and it doesn't just fall off because it's got a very, uh, this, it, it, it this is like crazy. the slick backing there to make sure that it doesn't just fall off of things you're working on. So it works pretty well. Yeah, slick is sticky, who knew? Anyway, links to everything in the description below. Uh, you guys don't have to buy the stuff that I randomly buy, but sometimes it's very useful and I think it's worth it. But TikTokstagram. Yeah, TikTokstagram. Do you need a knife? Yeah, hit me with one of those. I, I, have, I have a large variety of sharp objects that I should not be trusted with. This is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. You guys know how Allen wrenches are horrible, right? Hold I, on. I like Allen wrenches. <laughs> Terrible Allen wrenches. That's what these are. So anytime you need to get one of these, you have to like say I want like a 330 seconds. I have to open up like every single one of these and then finally get down to the Allen wrench that I need. And it's honestly a big pain because you're working, you're trying to work efficiently and Allen wrenches typically always get in your way. I know some people are gonna say it's not a big deal, but honestly it wastes a lot of your time and there's nothing you want less while you're working on a car than wasted time. So these, these work and honestly I like this set because it snaps together, but it's never gone back, it only worked once. Who is Alan? Yeah, Alan worked once. So I saw these Weeha Ergo Stars on the internet, and they're supposed to solve all of your problems with Allen wrenches. So here, take a they, they look the same. So when you open one wrench up, oh, it does work! Look at that! Wow! So when you need to access an Allen wrench, say I want, you know, a five millimeter, I can have my set in my toolbox, flip it open, pull out the five. Okay, they're pretty stuck because they're brand new. But that is honestly very cool. Uh, the holders are actually round, so it's not keyed in or anything like that. You just have to get it close and they work perfectly. So, Weeha Ergo Star. I think you can get them in ball end or hex end, so I got the ball end ones because they're usually pretty useful. You I'm, see I'm filing this under things I didn't know you could innovate. It's very um, innovative. Like, <laughs> yeah, these are always a mess, dude. These work. Yeah, that's genuinely. This will and save that's you. Like, that's, that's a big, like the, the set gets big too. It does. And I do think this will save you guys a lot of time or I would not be mentioning it. This, this is one of the best things I've bought in a long time, I think. I haven't even used it yet, but I was super excited when I saw this. And it was made in Poland. The Poles do make good stuff. I brought the walk. Here we have another cool thing that I think might be useful for those LKQ runs, uh, when you're just, you, you know, it's really designed for electricians because it's by Klein. And this is the SAE Klein 7-in-1 Impact Flip Socket Set with Handle. So uh, this is actually designed to be driven with your cordless impact. In this little screwdriver here, you get 
uh, quarter inch, 5 16 11 30 seconds, 3 8 7 16 and quarter inch dry impact rated sockets that are with you at all times. And honestly, uh, the tool that's the handiest is probably the best one to have. So let's see. We're going to open this up real quick. It's got the usual Klein handle. Oh, that's the release. That's pretty nice. It has a locking release ring there. I do appreciate Klein for always like using this weird lemonade yellow translucent handle that they, looks like it's straight out of the 80s probably because it is. It is weighted nice though. Yeah, they make the best tools, man. I love Klein stuff. I've got a lot of Klein electrician tools and they've always been great to me. Oh, look at that. It, so it's a quick connect. You just push in and it locks. It do be clicky. And uh, let's see. So say I want... Ah. Very innovative. Okay, I have no idea how to change sockets. <laughs> innovative, but not necessarily user intuitive. <laughs> are there instructions? Yeah, there are. Do you have to be smarter than your average ape? Because we might be hosed. Sockets store on shaft in any order or orientation. And all you have to do is pull, apparently. So I'm just not pulling hard enough? I don't know, they come off the bottom just fine. Huh? Okay. So they come off the bottom. <laughs> oh, then... yeah, I think that's how it's, because you don't want it to like accidentally push that's down true. the shaft. That's true, that's so, true. And uh, it also has a magnet in the end of it. So you got something magnetic? Uh, oh yeah. It's those a, are a, it's no, a those... no, it's magnetic. It's a pretty strong magnet, that's cool. Oh, okay. All right, so anyway, if you have this one tool with you, I thought it was cool. Dude, oh. these sockets are like, they've got these spring-loaded detent retentions yeah. and they're color-coded. And... Color-coded. I thought this was a great way to carry six sockets with you on a single handle wherever you're at. Okay, I'm buying that immediately. Yeah. Like as soon as I get home. Absolutely. This is exactly what I need for disassembling interiors while I'm at LKQ. <laughs> That's right, you could have one tool inside and not go back to your toolbox ever. This is a random one that I bought simply because I didn't have a impact center punch. And there was an impact center punch on Amazon for $20. And then there was an impact center punch on Amazon with three massive step bits for $21 or something like that. So it's a lot of value for one extra dollar. <laughs> yeah. So step bits are obviously pretty expensive and the reviews say that these cut stainless steel very well. So here is what we've got, four step bits, four step bits and an impact uh, center punch. So I honestly, I was just buying a center punch because I needed it here in the shop. Whenever we're drilling holes, it's still nice to have. Uh, let me, I'll show you guys the center punch. There you go. It punched a nice hole, look at that. Oh wow. A drill bit would bite that no matter what. So. Yeah. Uh, the center punch was literally the entire price. And honestly, I've destroyed quite a few step bits drilling stainless and stuff like that. Usually stainless is really hard on these things. So I was happy to have another set. So I'll throw a link to that in the description below. It's very cheap and uh, I think it's a high value. The, I think the writing on these bits is actually engraved. It said it was engraved. It's wow. not laser marked. Yeah, it's straight up engraved. These are nice. Nice. I've definitely paid more for worse locally. Yes. <laughs> I, I prefer to use the Irwins. I usually go buy those because they're very expensive and they seem to last me a long time. Uh, but these seem like they're gonna work pretty well and it was $20. It's pretty good value. I think it's pretty good value. All right, now, the most expensive thing, almost, I think almost the most expensive thing in this entire video is this, what is this called? A Top Diag P100 Pro. So while we were working on the Bentley, um, James from Air Capital Diagnostics brought over the Snap-on Power Probe Ultra, and I was in love with it. It shows current draw through the Power Probe. It has a super nice long cable that lets you run all the way to the back of the Bentley to power the Power Probe. You gotta hook it up somewhere. And uh, it also shows you know voltage, and you can turn on and off uh, the output. So it just works really well. So it's a it's a meter, and the snap-on one was nice, had a light on it. This is a power probe for one-fourth of the price, basically. I'd say one-fourth of the snap-on price. It was $80, and it has an oscilloscope in it. So I bought it immediately. What could be better than having a meter, current, uh, current draw readouts, and also an oscilloscope? And it also has a zero to five volt adjustable power supply. How cool is that? Wow, I was I was shopping for oscilloscopes like four months ago, and I did not come across this. Eighty dollars, you can have an oscilloscope in your house. A single channel, single channel. It's not fancy, but it is 
pretty cool for the price. So we're gonna open this up for the first time. I bought it in green because the green one came with more stuff. Hey, it comes in a case. Uh, so this is a top Diag J Diag. You gotta say Diag as many times as possible. Yeah, that's how you know it's real. That's how you know it's quality. Oh, we need yeah. something to test. We do. I'll get a car battery. And let's hook it up to this thing. So these are our 12 volt inputs here. Eight power probe. These are pretty nice. And they're also conducted through both sides of the clamp, which is good. Some of these cheap clamps are not. So that's actually a cool touch. We've got a nice big long cable to run to the back of the car. It seems like it's, what, 15 feet? And a couple different leads here. And along with that, we have the power probe. So let's, let's open this thing up. It smells like some sort of solvent that I use. It does smell like a solvent. What's funny is the brand name. This is cheap. I'm not, you know, I've never used it before. There's no reason that I'm talking about it other than it was cheap, but the the tag for top diag is already coming off. So we'll just rip that off and make it easier. Here, get another sticker that says bottom diag. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. So the power probe has one very nice tip there. It's lighted too. That looks sharp. Man, this is nice. Shouldn't trust me with that. Uh, it is sharp and it doesn't fit in the case with the power probe in it. And there's also a needle version so you can measure uh, connectors out, which is pretty mm. cool. Okay, it doesn't fit. <laughs> I gotta say, I mean, good we're, start. Good we're, start. We're being honest here. Yeah. Uh, this one fits perfectly. The stock tip and then the needle tip does not fit one bit. Yeah, it's because it's yellow plastic. The the yellow plastic. Yellow plastic. Yellow plastic's just bigger. The power connection is key. That's nice. Wow. It does not fit together very well either. No, it's just secure. That's what you're supposed to say. Hey, look at that. Uh, turned on. Top diag. It turned on and turned off. Oh, oh, there it goes. Hey. Okay, so it's not a touch screen. Hey, that interface isn't completely terrible. It's actually a pretty high res LCD here. And it's pretty readable. If you need like a turn signal flash, that's pretty cool. So we've got pulse and we have set. Wow, that is pretty cool. Oh, okay, down is tip to ground, up tip to power. And it's just as long as you hold it. Oh, that's momentary. Yeah, it's momentary. And then that's latch. Ah, uh, yeah, and, it, and it, it says all that if we would read it. This is actually really powerful. What's impressive is that the user interface is good enough that we can just figure this out by looking at it. Yeah. Know? Like, is there, a, is there even instructions? Apparently you can do a firmware upgrade. Oh, that's why it has USB. User's manual. And there's a meter. Wow. That is very cool, I gotta say. I gotta say. And you can hold things out, you can do diode tests. For 80 bucks, I think this was a huge win. Oh, we figured everything out. We don't even need the manual. Yeah, like basically, this, this does not say anything. It doesn't. This is, we did not figure out on our own. So that's a pretty big win for the interface, honestly. P100 Pro, super easy to use. That's all we have to say about that. Because we're dumb. It just, it just works. <laughs> we're not trying to be professionals here. We're just trying to DIY out of the garage at home. And this is gonna help DIY out of the garage at home. And it might help you too, I don't know. It's a really good thing we're not trying to be professionals. That's right. Uh, and here, it's already open, and I know I've used it before. Wow, it's heavy. But this is the new Icon uh, under hood, under car, under lift light, because it will hook on about anything. You can expand these little things, and they're spring-loaded. So, do, do not look into these lights. They're some of the brightest lights it's you've ever It's hot! Seen. Yeah. So these I are can feel that. these are some of the brightest lights I've ever seen. They're magnetic, right? So you can put them on whatever you want, just like that. And the base rotates in case you need to like get the angle precisely set. It's got plenty of adjustment there. It's got plenty of length adjustment, and they are incredibly hot. They work as standalone lights, and they recharge over USB-C. So I know I talked about. I think I talked about them before because I used them on something, but. I love these lights, and they're also a battery bank for yeah, your phone. Yeah, it can phone. charge your phone. It can charge your phone. So these are some of the brightest lights you will ever see. Oh, it gets brighter. They are painful. Dude, is it on the low setting? Yeah, it was. Whoa. It, it was on the low setting. <laughs> wow! That is bonkers. Anyway, uh, ow. I put my finger under the magnet. That Don't do a, that. That was a mistake. I mean, I looked into it, so like we're just full of bad choices tonight. <laughs> Don't do any of the things that we do. Anyway, obviously you guys know I've got the Milwaukee underhood light. I always thought it was awesome, but it flashes on camera. These don't flash on camera. How much is this I need to do? I think it's 150 bucks. I'm That's not sure. Not 
bad because this feels the Milwaukee light. I, I will say the only part of this that doesn't feel quality is the swivel. It works. It, it works. Yeah, great. It works great. It's a little bit wiggly, but like the lights themselves, you could you could run these over. I and mean, we could we could go outside and run these over right now. Yeah, I thought I thought they were a pretty solid uh, light, and it all works the way I expect. I don't have anything bad. I'm I'm just a fan of it. Don't, don't put your finger under it though. No. It, it will rip. It will crush your. I bought a new toy for the Bentley, the Fluke 189, and this is a high resolution true RMS meter. It's not new. Well, yeah. I thought this was new stuff. That's uh, there's. It's not even the box. It's also not a are good. We, it's not even a good deal. I guess. Are, are you just saying that anything's new? Hang on, hang on. I got this brand new, brand new motorcycle. Look at this. You're not. We're off. <laughs> No! New motorcycle! Okay, fine. The fluke meter is probably too expensive, and maybe the 2022 Honda is too expensive too. But that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchchair.com for cool shirts just like this. Huge shout out to 100% Jake for helping out. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Well, now we have to pack up our mess. Can we flip the table? <laughs> I'd rather not. These are so nice. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make an Amazon order when I get home, honestly. Pick up a few of these yourself. Yeah. Not Don't this. drop that da da da. Hey. Don't drop that da da da. Don't drop the da da da. Don't drop the da da da. Don't drop the da da da. Oh hey. no, he dropped the da da da.